there are some other filter and effects that I am going to show you now. Instead of resize, you can uh, use another one that is actually fit. The fit actually do the same thing like the resize. I am going to show you. I am going to refresh this one and a new image will be created by the name of fit. You see that here is a now new image that is fit.jpg. So this is actually similar to resize. If you go to fit and resize, actually not a very big difference between this similar. So this is another one. I am going uh, to copy and paste it for you. I am not going to remove anything. I am just going to keep here resize. So this is okay. So this is another uh, function. There is another interesting function that is rotate. I am going to copy any one and paste it here. This is rotate function. And for example, I want to rotate the image as 45 degree. So if I give here the rotate 45 and if I give here the rotate, what will happen? Refresh. You will see that there is a new photo here, rotate.jpg. And you see that the image has been rotated in 45 degree so this is possible if you want that you will make it rotate by 90 degree then if i run this one and if i go here now rotate you see that the, the image has been rotated as 90 degree so this is the rotate function there is another one that is flip you can flip the image using the flip and horizontal or vertical flip. I am going to use the vertical flip and here going to give here flip.jpg refresh. Now if I go here a new photo comes that is flip. So open it you see that it is vertically flipped totally flipped the image okay. So this is the use of flip there you uh, if you want that you, uh, you can also do the horizontal flip. So if uh, you give here A instead of B, it will be horizontal flipped. So this is very easy. Another one is, for example, uh, this image after resize, you will understand that it if I resize it first. I am going to resize the image first, then in the same time, I can use other attributes. For example, I am going to make the image blur. So for example, the image will be blurred by 15. What will happen? The image will be blur defect. So here, this will be blur. Now if I refresh it, there will be a new image. That's name is blur.jpg. Open it, you see that the image is blurred. In this way, I can uh, apply many other items here, many other effects here, for example, uh, I am going to apply here another effect that is brightness brightness you can make the image bright so 15 is okay I am now going to refresh it uh, actually it will be bright bright so refresh it a new image will come that is bright if I open you see that this is a little bit brighter than the main image if i want i can make it more bright for example 45 then again run this and then again open this one you see that more brightness comes here so in this way uh, i can use the brightness there are many other functions like this if i go to check here you will see that in the left side there are many things available for you you can use a lot of filters a lot of uh, effect from the left size there are contrast effect if you want that uh, you can use the effect there is a grayscale effect all the effect has the simple for example this is a gray scale i am going to copy this and um, going to paste it here i am going to copy this and this is from their code i am going to copy this and it will be 
gray scale no parameter now here i am going to copy and change the name of the image gray scale so a new image will be created if i run it you will see that a new image comes here that is gray scale you see that a gray scale version of my image has been created now so in this way you can just check the documentation of the image intervention and apply as many filters or as many effects as you want. I hope you have understood.